What's up you guys? A lot of you have been asking for a more Australian intro. I don't think that's gonna happen because I'm not Australian. I don't know how to properly use g'day to like a group of people. Like, do I say g'day mates? Or am I just like g'day everybody? Like, I don't know. So, <laughs> I'm just gonna leave that one out. Here, I guess, instead of saying like, what's up? Or like, how are you? They're like, how you going? And I'm like, I'm going, you know, going, going right along, I guess. So today's video is video, video. I'm in a really weird mood today. I think it's because I'm by myself for like the second day in a row. So I'm going a little crazy, maybe. Anyways, this is the third and final vlog of my road trip up the East Coast of Australia with the Follow Me Network. We finally make it to Cairns and it's pretty awesome. I liked it there. It was fun. And I went snorkeling. Yeah. As you will see in this video, <laughs> I am not the best swimmer. Like, I can swim. But like, I grew up in Washington State and we don't swim in the ocean there because it's freaking cold. I grew up like jumping into the, the lake and like swimming around and water like that so you know i can swim around and i can fucking do my thing but like waves freak me out they honestly freak me out so but i did it i got in the water and i went snorkeling even though i was a little bit stressed out about it <laughs> but yeah hope you guys like this video <laughs> morning it's it's Monday, so I think that's like the fifth day of this road trip and we made it to Cairns. We're about to go hop on a boat and go check out the Great Barrier Reef, do some snorkeling, and I don't know. <laughs> I have been snorkeling before, but it's been a long time. Super tired, but I think it'll be worth getting up this early. That is what I want to see the most, whatever that is. Oh, uh, why? Okay. Oh. I'm reading this book and I just found out that Ras fish can change. <laughs> Ras fish can change their sex from female to male. That's insane. It's pretty choppy out here today, but well, hopefully we'll be able to see some cool stuff still. raining and the waves were huge. So I didn't stay out for very long, but I still saw some amazing stuff. And I'm gonna try to go out again at the next section. The weather got so much better, so I went out and I saw like turtles and stingrays and all sorts of fish. It was so sick. Uh -huh. Oh my god, what is it? Jellyfish. Really? Yeah. No. Oh my god. Do you want to hold it? Mm -hmm. Oh my god, it's so slippery. finally done with the snorkeling excursion but yeah that was so amazing I saw so many cool creatures now we're just gonna eat and we're gonna uh, find somewhere to stay tonight today is the last day of my trip I'm heading to Sydney in a few hours unfortunately my road trip is over hopefully <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed that video. My favorite part was definitely just dancing. It's pretty much always my favorite part of any day. I just wanted to get serious with you guys for just a quick second if you don't mind. I'm just kidding, I'm not gonna get that serious. But I'm gonna tell you right now, I just spent like 20 minutes at least, if not 30, doing a little research for you guys because 
I found out something and that is that almost every species of turtle is classified as endangered and that sucks but this isn't just about the turtles this is about the whole entire ecosystem in general so I was like I'm gonna do some research and get my facts straight so that I can inspire other people to maybe pay attention and care a little bit about the Great Barrier Reef but like I'm serious I actually did research like I have sticky notes that I wrote stuff on so <laughs> I could probably talk about this for like 10 or 15 minutes because it's quite detailed and intricate but I'm gonna just like get it down to a few sentences for you guys so like I said turtles are not doing so well and that's mainly because of pollution and trash that's just in the water and as creatures go extinct it leads to a breakdown in the entire ecosystem because of the reduced biodiversity. But with biodiversity in an ecosystem, the ecosystem is healthy. Healthy ecosystems are important for so many reasons, not just the Great Barrier Reef, like ecosystems everywhere, including rainforests and blah, 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 so that we can get natural resources from them, fuel, medicine, the list goes on and on. So now that I kind of schooled you a little bit and schooled myself, uh, I can tell you what you can do to help out a little bit. The super easy things you can do to help reduce pollution and water runoff and things like that are just to conserve water and even just turn off the light like it's so easy to just turn off a light and you will help reduce the power plant emissions by that much more and you can also do things just like using environmentally friendly cleaners and stuff like that i think i'm done done preaching to you guys <laughs> Thank you for actually listening to me if you did watch this far into the video Also, just wanted to mention that we didn't have the right lens for the GoPro So the colors that you guys were seeing were not like nearly as vibrant as the colors that we saw So I guess you just have to go and look at the reef yourself Thank you guys so much for watching this video Seriously, it makes my day reading the comments saying that you guys look forward to my videos I think that's really cool So I'm gonna try and keep producing videos and content for you guys. Thanks Austin for the video clips. Make sure you guys are subscribed to me. You guys can follow me on Instagram and whatever else if you want to. And yeah, that's it. <laughs> Thanks.